Thanks for tuning in. I'm Robert Galarowitz. Today, we're talking about four unknown or uncommon risk factors for chronic kidney disease progression. So this was a big study, long-term, over 20 years. American Journal of Medicine, 2023. Okay, the American Journal of Medicine, 2023, a very prestigious journal. And it was titled, uh, Non-Traditional Risk Factors for Progression Through Chronic Kidney Disease Risk Categories, a Quaternary Artery Risk Development in Young Adults. So it took people 27 to 41 with chronic kidney disease, different stages. And they found these four factors, which are uncommon, untraditional. First one was low forced vital capacity. What that is, is the maximum amount of air you can blow out from your lungs. All right, so the, the more you could, the slower your kidney disease progressed. Now you do that or you build up that lung capacity by exercising, okay, keeping a normal weight and just staying active. All right, so those are the main things there. Just staying active, normal weight, exercise, exercise. So important with kidney health. All right, inflammations, so they looked at C-reactive protein and they looked at another marker called glyca A, glyca. No way to access to this type of technology. This was only for researchers to check inflammation. You won't be able to get a test on that. And that's how they measured it. People with the least did better. And you have less inflammation by being active, by having a better diet, making sure you're nutritionally sufficient, your vitamin D, all your other nutrients that we talk about in other videos like zinc, selenium. So, you know, a lot of things there that you want to do or could take care of. Okay, high serum uric, so high uric acid. Now, everybody gets checked for uric acid levels with kidney disease, but you should. It's so important. We're looking at anything above eight or higher should be addressed. Ten or higher is usually the out of the blood work range on the test. So definitely got to treat it if you're ten or higher. But in kidney disease, we look at eight or higher to start treating it. And so low serum carotenoids. Carotenoids are carotenoids. Okay, they come from plants. They give their plants their nice color and pigmentation. And these are plant nutrients. There's a lot of different ones. And the higher your level, the better you did. The lower, the worse you did. Now you increase these through diet. Lots of fruits, lots of vegetables. We want to have lots of fruits and vegetables with a kidney diet. You can also get different supplements, beta carotene being one. There are other carotenoids out there that are available. So addressing those four areas will slow down the progression of the kidney disease, along with every, everything else that you should be doing, like blood pressure, blood sugar. So do those four things to improve your kidney health. Bye.